For much of history, society considered handshakes to be binding contracts. In modern times, the law generally doesn't recognize a handshake alone as creating an enforceable contract. But can a check for partial payment of a handshake agreement constitute a binding contract? The North Carolina Court of Appeals checked out this issue in the 1994 case of Buffalo v. Hart. Homer Buffalo was a farmer who rented five tobacco barns from Patricia and Howell Hart. The parties solidified their rental agreement via handshake and never created a written contract. The parties later entered into negotiations for Buffalo to purchase the barns. While standing in the Hart's front yard, Homer offered to pay the Hart's $20,000 in four annual installments of $5,000. The Hart's accepted and the parties shook hands. Buffalo applied for a loan to finance the barns, but the bank didn't approve the loan. He entered into agreements to sell three of the barns to third parties. He informed Mrs. Hart of the plan, which she indicated was fine. Buffalo wrote a $5,000 check to make his required payment. Buffalo used the check's four line to indicate that the check was for partial payment of the five barns. Buffalo delivered the check to Mrs. Hart, which she accepted but didn't sign. Mrs. Hart asked if Buffalo wanted a receipt, but he declined. The next day, Mrs. Hart told Buffalo that she had sold the barns and returned Buffalo's check. Buffalo sued the Harts for breach of contract in state court. At trial, the Harts denied the existence of a contract based on the statute of frauds. The jury ruled that the parties created a valid contract. The Harts appealed to the North Carolina Court of Appeals.